and uh, we're so lucky to be joined by uh, Green Senator Nick McKim. Um, Nick has been in Parliament uh, negotiating around this bill and he's come to give us a bit of an update of what's going on and, and speak to that. So thank you so much, Nick. Well, thanks, Anna. I just want to start by acknowledging the traditional owners of this land, the Ngunnawal and Gambri people, and acknowledge that this land was never ceded. And until we have a treaty with Australia's first peoples, we will still have significant unfinished business as a country. Well, fair to say, there's a little bit going on in that building behind us today on refugees. But what I can assure all of you is that alone of all the parties represented in this debate and alone of all the parties that are in negotiations right now on the bill, the Greens will vote in the interests of the refugees on Manus Island and Nauru. As we always do, we won't be caught up in the politics of fear. We won't be caught up in the backsliding of the Labor Party and we will make our judgments based on one thing and one thing alone. What is in the interests of those many hundreds of people who are still on Manus Island and Nauru nearly six years now since they were put there almost all by the Labor Party. Six years of deliberate harm, six years of torture, six years of exile. Enough is enough. Now what we've seen this morning is Labor put forward some proposed amendments to the bill that the Labor Party supported through the Senate last year. Now we don't want to see this bill watered down. So what we are doing right now is seeking advice from the refugee sector and seeking advice from lawyers, many of whom have actually worked on cases that have resulted in people being transferred from Manus or Nauru here to Australia on medical grounds. And the commitment I give you is we will not support a piece of legislation that makes it harder for people to get the medical treatment they need. We will require this legislation to make it easier for people to get the medical treatment that doctors are saying they so desperately need. Now those negotiations are ongoing now and where they will land in an hour or two I cannot tell you as we stand here today. But what I do want to say to you guys is that coming out here today shows the depth of feeling in the community about this. And your simple presence here sends a strong message to the Labor Party and the Liberal Party that the Australian people are enough with politics being played around people's lives. They've had enough and you've had enough about politics being played with people's medical well-being. So keep your eye on your social media feeds. This will be a rapidly moving feast. And I'm sorry, but I have to leave you now and take some further advice and go back in to our negotiations. But as I said, as I hope you all know, and as I hope the Australian Greens have demonstrated time after time, we won't get sucked in to the politics of this. And I guarantee you, we will make our decisions today and right into the future on what is actually in the best interests of the people that you are all here to support. So thanks for coming and uh, good luck to us all today.